All right, I have some rapid fire questions. Uh oh. Okay. <clears throat> Who is your favorite artist to listen to during the harvest? Mm. I love David Bowie. He is one of my all time favorites. Um, but for a harvest beat, you need something with a like a little bit more of an driving rhythm. So sometimes Led Zeppelin is really up there. Okay. I'm a classics type of girl a lot of the time. Or as far as current current artists go, I really like the weekend. Okay. It's kind of mellow. Right. But and it's still. got a good beat too. Yeah. Your favorite indulgent food. Mmm. I love lasagna. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to tangent a little bit. Yeah. I've been, my daughter's been on a lasagna kick. Yes. And so the, the base of the lasagna that, that I end up making for her has mm -hmm. like a white sauce in it. Mm -hmm. Growing up to me has all been about red sauce, mm -hmm. meat, cheese, noodle. Mm -hmm. What is your lasagna? The most recent lasagna I made was a crab lasagna. Oh my gosh. And that had a bechamel sauce. But typically, I'm a red sauce type of girl. Okay. Sometimes I like both, though. If you put red sauce on the bottom to keep it from sticking to the pan, and then always do the ricotta spinach mix, right? and then some sautéed veggies, and then the red sauce usually has some sausage or something in it, and then a layer of bechamel. Oh. So kind of a pink sauce. That's interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, the, for me, the... the I, freaking butter the heck out of the pan okay then the bechamel mm -hmm. and then lasagna noodles another bechamel then mm -hmm. some red sauce some mm -hmm. cheese yep so you do the pink sauce thing too yeah. yeah i like i like both for different reasons something like crab you have to have a white sauce that you can't have you can't have red sauce with crab no no i agree i agree <laughs> that would be sacrilege <laughs> if you could choose a superpower what would it be i would want to fly oh wouldn't we all that'd yeah. be amazing <laughs> Your harvest notes, are they digital or handwritten? Mm. Um, the to-do list is handwritten, and then I put it into a record-keeping database that is on the computer. Can I ask what the database is? I use Ivis. Um, okay. Ivis is very old-school Oregon, okay. and a lot of people have um, maybe changed to a different platform but i've been using using ivis for so long and hector who is the owner and the creator of ivis is such a lovely man okay. um so i just i use it so i can talk to him on the phone <laughs> and figure <laughs> out what i'm doing and then it it does all my year-end taxes and stuff for me and it's just great that's yeah. awesome it keeps track of everything and it's very i know how to use it at this point i've used it for 13 years so Nice. I was going to say 37. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I was a... We didn't I, have computers I, I, 37 no, years ago. No, no. <laughs> Who is your favorite superhero? Um, Wonder Woman. Nice. No. She-Ra. She oh, she my was gosh. my favorite back when I was oh, a kid. Wow. I she forgot about She-Ra. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go She-Ra. Nice. <laughs> and then what was the last book you read? Um... I am reading In the Woods by Tana French. Okay. <clears throat> so that's the most recent one that I'm physically reading. Nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been reading it for probably since Julian was born. <laughs> I don't have a lot of free time to just read a book. No, no, I understand. Um, so most of my books are actually audiobooks. So during my hour-long commute out to Carlton and back, each way is an hour, so I have plenty of time for online I do Audible. That. I do that all the time. Well, what was the last audio, Audible book that you... I am revisiting the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series. Oh. So I'm on the third book right now. That's what I'm listening to in the car. Nice. Otherwise, I think when I started working out at the Carlton Winemaker Studio, I was. that's when I really started doing the audiobook thing and I listened to a lot of Stephen King mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I felt like I was having really mm -hmm. weird dreams <laughs> <laughs> and it was maybe messing with my psyche a little too much a little bit it can happen so now I pepper in the Stephen King so I'll do like something different and like historical fiction like all the light we cannot see that was a really good one um 
and yeah, so things that aren't Stephen King peppered in with some Stephen King, so it's not too full on I, 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 I get <laughs> crazy. <it. laughs> Have you done the the Dark Tower series? I've listened to one of the Dark Towers, the first one. Okay. I haven't gone down the rabbit hole into that series quite yet. <laughs> it's it is so I started that series when it first started. Mm -hmm. I think it took like ten or fifteen years for him to finish the series. Is it done? He's done writing it now. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll go into. I was wondering what I'm going to listen to next, and. Um, Rob and I share an Audible account, so okay. everything that I download, he listens to also. So because he does construction and renovation, right. he's listening to audiobooks all day long, too. Like Probably imagine. more than me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, maybe I'll do the Dark Tower series. I think the first one of that was when I was like, this is getting me into a weird rabbit hole. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's not scary. No. But it, it, it's, it is. It's like otherworldly and like apocalyptic a little bit kind of like did you read the stand or listen yes, to the stand yeah, yeah. yeah kind of yeah. like that one <laughs> so i was going to say so like you know randall flag in the stand mm -hmm. is a major character in the dark tower series and i think that's why i listened to the first one and i was like okay i'm gonna have to dedicate a lot of time if i'm gonna go through the whole series <laughs> of the dark tower so yeah, yeah. i, I want to read uh, eyes of the dragon again okay which was more around the uh, merlin time frame yep and randall flag played an important role in oh, that okay. as well cool so. Have you done eleven twenty two sixty three? I tried to do that one. That's one of my favorites. Okay, I need. I'll, I'll. I'll do that one. It takes a little bit to get into it, but once you get into it, it's really good. I saw the movie. Yep, it's not as good. <laughs> it, it. They. They never no. are, especially Stephen King. I mean, he's. They're like eight hundred page books, right? So how are they going to encompass all of that into like a, even a mini series? Right. No, it's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, give that one another shot. I all think right. it's really worth it. I'll do that. Right. Maybe I, on audiobook though, because then somebody else is reading it for you. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah. I can do that. Shall I reveal the wine? 